What up, smart rapper? Today we're talking about the top five signs that you'll fail as a rapper. Hate to break it to you, but you need to know them so you can change them. The fear in their eyes from other rappers who be rapping just to tell us a lie. Number one, you don't have a plan. You can't just be like, I'm gonna make it. That's not how shit works. You have to have a plan. What's your strategy? What are the songs you're gonna use? What kind of songs are you gonna use? What, there's so many things that you have to do. You have to plan. Where are you gonna get the money from for the promotion? What type of mixtape you're releasing? Where are you going to release the mixtape? Is it gonna be an album instead of a mixtape? Why is it an album instead of a mixtape? Which one makes more sense? How many songs should you release? What is your plan? Who are you gonna collaborate with? How are you gonna get it out there? A lot of people have a problem. They make songs and music and they don't promote it. They didn't have a plan. Music doesn't promote itself. You have to spend more time promoting the songs than you do making them, okay? That's just the beginning. I'm just giving you the outlines. If you don't have a plan, it's very highly likely you're gonna fail as a rapper unless you accidentally make it. And that's very rare, okay? Number two, you aren't actively networking. You need a team, you've probably heard me say this a bunch of times before, you have to network. You ever heard the saying that it's about who you know, not what you know? It's very true, trust me, I moved to LA and I see it everywhere. People with less talent and less skills happen to make it because they know somebody, okay? If you have skills plus you know people, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna make it really fast compared to anybody else, but you have to be out there networking, shaking hands, kissing babies, okay? Maybe not the kissing babies part, but you have to be out there making friends with people so they like you and they're gonna want to help you advance your career to the next level. You have to be out there or you're going to fail, trust me. Number three, you aren't consistently writing music. You are in the music industry. If you are not consistently getting better at your skill set, how are you gonna outdo the other million rappers out there? And yes, mil actually million is an understatement. There's millions, I've had them on my website already. I could show you my web traffic. It's Everybody wants to be a rapper. If you want to stand out, you need to get good at your skill set at writing songs, do writing it, lyrics, punchlines, wordplay, everything, do writing it, melodies, choosing beats, developing your voice, do developing your ideas, do developing it, your brand image. You have to be doing these things. You have to be especially writing them. Yes, sir. The more you're writing, the higher the chances are that you're going to come across a hit song, something that people really resonate with. But if you're not writing, very highly likely, you're going to fail. Sorry, buddy. Number four, Stop. you think lyrics are more important than the flow and the vibe of the song. Rhythm and melody, I always keep this in mind, like when I'm making beats, like rhythm and melody are the universal language. If, if the beat is bouncing and it has an ill ass rhythm to it, or if it has a good melody, then anybody in the world can bounce. Me, I had the same issue. I was like, it's all about lyrics. It's all about lyrics. This is clearly not true, and you can see that with any rapper, almost, um, okay, a very high percentage of the rappers that have really made it in the music industry, they're not the most lyrical. What they do have, though, is something that vibes. What people, what music really is, the most successful music, yes, it, tend, it does tend to have great lyricism, but, it's usually successful when it gives people a feeling. Music gives people a feeling, a vibe. It makes them feel a certain type of energy, a certain type of way, okay? If you think that lyrics are more important than vibe, you are going to fail and stay an underground rapper forever. You wanna be the big dog underground, making no money, having very low level of fame and success, and not having that many fans? Cool, do that, focus on lyrics. Or you can focus on lyrics and understand that flow is massively important and you're going to excel 10 times faster. Trust me. Number five. Ladies and gentlemen. You think you're an artist and money doesn't matter. Psh, I remember when I was thinking like that and that fucked me. Yeah. Okay, you have to understand that you need money to excel. Everything costs money. You can hire video people. You can hire better producers to get you a better sound. You can hire better engineers to get your music to sound clearer, stronger, more professional. Yeah! You can pay for radio campaigns to start getting radio spins if your records are good enough. It'll start around $15,000, by the way. What? Do you have 15 grand? That's just for the radio campaign. 15 grand isn't really that much for a radio campaign, okay? You can pay for placements on places like Worldstar, 
placements on on uh, hip hop blogs, places to really get your music, like force people to hear your music, ads across all networks, everything like that. These things cost money. Yes, sir. And being, if you're like, I'm, I'm an artist, money is evil. I used to think the same thing. And that slowed me down so much because it's not evil to have money if you're using the money to accelerate yourself for the good, Bro. okay? Don't think of it as a bad thing. You have to understand you need the money, okay? A lot of art, a lot of people like me, right now, I step back, saving my money up. I have a huge project releasing, but I know I'm gonna need like $20,000 plus to promote it. Because I've already been through the thing of like, here, I'm gonna spend a thousand. Oh, that didn't work. I need to spend 5,000. Okay, that didn't work, I'm right here. I assess my issues and I understand where money needs to be allocated so that I can grow pr properly and I meet the right people. But these people need to be paid. That's why when there's a major artist, there's about 20 people making money off of the artist. Whoa. <laughs> Look at 2 Chainz. he used to be signed to Ludacris. Everything 2 Chainz still does today, Ludacris is getting paid from. Because at one point, Ludacris helped Show. 2 Chainz along. He's still contractually obligated to pay him. Okay? Watch out, little bitch. That's crazy, but that's how it works. You people need to get paid. You need money to excel. There's so many examples, but I'm not gonna eat your time up on that. Instead, let's do the roundup. Number one, you don't have a plan. Number two, you're not networking. That's a problem. Number three, not writing lyrics on a regular basis. Number four, you don't realize that vibe is more important than lyricism. Oh. And number five, you think that money doesn't matter. Stop! Ugh. And that's that for the top five. And I hope that you, you can take those and you can learn from them so you can grow. Flip, flip the script, start doing those things so that you're not doing those things that are gonna make you fail and, then, and start doing the things that are gonna make you successful. Check out all the other videos on my channel. Hit me with a like, hit me with a comment if you think there's some that I may have missed. Hit me with a subscription so that you can see all these new videos. I release two new videos a week on Saturdays and Sundays. Smart Rapper Saturdays and Sundays. And this is the la the most important part of this video is I'm actually going to give you something for free. I'm going to give you the contact information of every single record, la record label A&R for free. There's a link below. It'll bring you, I'm just going to sign up to my email list. And in return for signing up to my email list so I can deliver you more information, I'm going to give you the A&R contacts for free. Check out all the other videos on my channel. Crazy amount of information. I've been where you are right now, and I'm here to help. All right, see you all next time.